Hi guys, welcome to another class of Pilates with TZ. Today you want two heavy weights. So I'm using five, I have done the class eight kilos. Whatever it is you're using, make sure you're strong enough to keep the shoulders down the spine. If you find you're getting tired, then you want to put the weights down rather. Otherwise, turning the palms out, shoulders relaxed, core is tight, and we're stepping up and down just to warm up. I want the palms facing forward if you can. Try not to let it push into you, but it's resting. Shoulders relaxed, core is tight, let's go. Just stepping up and down to warm up. One, two, pull the abs and shoulders relaxed, core is tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change legs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more set, one, two, shoulders relax, open the arms, three, four, change in legs, four, inhale, you can do this with shoes, three, two, one, and Putting the weights down, stretching the arms. What you'll find, we're holding the weights down all the time. It's not a huge amount of work. I just want extra weight for the legs. So taking the one foot forward, come into figure four. Take it to the other side. Figure four, a good stretch. If you need to, stretching it out again, coming up, coming to stand on the step, one arm is up, shoulders relax, open the fingers, if you're scared of your toes, then rather put your socks and shoes on. So we're just working into the wrist. Shoulders relax, core's tight, let's go. One, two. Four, five, seven, eight, cross tight, step in. One, two, three, shoulders relax. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One more set. Put the weight down if you need to. This is for wrist strengthening. Two, three, four. So it's a straight line from your elbow to your wrist. Seven, eight. Release it down. Changing other arm. Shoulder relax. Core is tight. Hold it. Four. Five, seven, eight, let's go. Down and up. One, two, three. Core's tight. Make sure the shoulders are equal. Don't lean into the heavier side. Five, six, eight. One more set. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release it down. Just come into stand behind and then just open, close the fingers. 
open from here you're just gonna fold forward and bounce one two three stay here just pull the arms down let them hang and just circles coming up we're gonna work again still in two legs but now we're going to take the weights are going to be one weight for this one so it's half the weight if yours isn't heavy enough then maybe you want to just take another weight palm face forward shoulders relaxed again standing behind your chair one foot is on try to go back a little bit forward we're only using one weight for now that palm is facing forward to set the shoulders. You're going to come onto the toes of that back foot. So if you've got knee problems, you're squeezing the back. If it's still hurting, don't go so low. Let's go. Squeeze down. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the back of the thighs. Five, six, seven. Eight, eight, seven, six, four, cause tight, shoulders relax, three, two, one, you should feel the hip flexor, one, two, three, four, six, seven, a bend and hold, shift forward, so knee slightly over toes, it's fine to do that by the way, squeeze the back of the thigh and release it down, taking the weight into the other hand, step it quite forward, square the hip, shoulders relaxed, core is tight. It goes back a little bit more. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six, squeeze the back of the thigh. Eight, feel that hip flexor. One, three, four, five. Palm faces forward, shoulder relaxed. Hold it here, shift forward. One, squeeze. Two, five, six, seven, eight. Four is tight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, come in behind the step and just fold, bend, stretch it down, bend, one more, and just fold here, gently coming up, taking both weights, Palms face forward, shoulders relax. Step in one leg up, knee up, and down, and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight, seven, inhale, exhale, six, breathe, don't wear the shoulders as earrings, Rod, put the weight down, two, one, two, three, 
people. Five. Seven. Eight. Change legs. If you need a break, have a break. Otherwise, step one, two, shoulders down the spine, core is tight, three, especially as it gets heavy, four, maybe forearms are getting tired, five, six, don't lock your elbows if you tend to lock all your knees, eight, soft knees, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and release it down. So I definitely think arms are working a lot more. Let's stretch it up and stretch it up. Release it down. From here, we're going to take it onto one side. Taking the weight is both weights in each hand. Feet are parallel, a little bit wider, palms face forward. We're going to bend the knee that's on the floor. Squeeze down and up. If it's hurting, then just step it up rather than bend or don't go so low or just squeeze the back of the thigh. Let's go. Take a bit wider, feet are parallel. One, two, palms are forward, shoulders relax. Three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Seven. So the hand shouldn't be on the body, just off, core is tight, four, feet are parallel, two, one. If you find your box is slipping, put it on a mat or a carpet, four, squeeze the back of the thighs, core is tight, seven, eight, bend the leg on the step now, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, course tight, five, four. One, one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release it down. Just shake it out or just hold, have a break whatever you need. So the forearms should be working quite nicely. Great for forearm strengthening. And taking it wide again. Bend the knees. Squeeze both knees. One, two, three. If you find the weight is in the way, taking it into both hands, one weight. Seven, oh, <laughs> don't do that, right? Eight, eight, seven, six, 
fast four three works at core a lot if you just hold the step there one one more set one three four parallel feet five six seven on the eighth one hold it down three four squeeze the back of the thighs and release it down just fold forward stretch one arm stretch the other bend and stretch taking the weights into the other hand i mean taking the leg to the other side so staying here palms are forward all one weight bending the leg on the mat feet are parallel squeeze oh sorry leg on the floor one two shoulders relax cause tight four five six don't lock the knee if the other one's straight if you tend to lock then rather bend it slightly two three four five six seven eight bend the leg on the step one two three don't lock the straight leg four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one take it down just giving the forearms a break open and close and just fold forward without locking the knees softly and gently coming up bending both knees now feet are parallel squeeze the back of the thighs one two three four try not to lock at the top but squeeze the butt at the top six the exhales on the harder part eight eight seven six Hopefully the weights are pulling down on the legs. Two, one, one more set. Then we hold two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth one, hold it lower, lift the chest, squeeze the back of the thighs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. I did feel inner thigh as well. So maybe coming into a diamond stretch with your bum on the steps and fold forward feels good. Gently bringing the feet together, figure four. If you need to take that foot forward, bring it in and shift forward. Change your legs, other foot forward, bring it in, shift forward. Gently release. Come into stand in front of the steps. Both weights standing in the front. One leg is on the step. So try to take forward as much as you can. Open the chest. 
palms facing forward and squeeze down and up. One, bending both knees, squeeze the back of the thighs. Three, four, close tight, stand up nice and tall. Six, inhale and the exhale from the heart apart. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more set. One, two, three, four, almost there, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze down, squeeze the back of the thighs, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. So taking the legs behind, but step foot forward, bend into one side, stretch, bend into the other, stretch, and just fold forward or anything that is delicious. Taking the other foot is going to step forward. Come into the second side. Just push back a little. Step a little bit wider. Palms face forward to set the shoulders, core is tight. Squeeze the back of the thighs. One, two, three. The exhale's going down because I have found it harder. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze the back of the thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more set, one, two, almost there, three, course tight, four, squeeze the back of the thighs, especially if you're getting tired, don't let those shoulders round, palms face forward, Bend and hold. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release it down. So just coming with the weight on the floor, feet in front, into your diamond, round, arch the back, round. Arch one more round and coming up. We're now going to work into some abs. You can do this on the floor. I just like that we're further off the ground. See where you are. Rounding into the back. Core is tight. Squeeze in and out. Feet are together or hip width apart. You can. Bend those elbows. I'm holding onto the block, or you can have it here. Uh, works either way. So straighten and bend. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close tight. Eight, eight, seven, four, three. Two, one, one more set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in. Hold it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. And now stretch. Just stretch into the top of the 
feet. I mean the pipes. Just lie down. Oh, it's delicious. Coming up. And gently from here, we're going to take it to the side. Your hands on the block, lift in the legs, squeeze the knees together, twisting to one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull those abs in, round into the lower back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more set. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, hold it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release it down. Changing sides. Knees together. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just release it down. And then maybe just lift the chest and release. The last thing we're going to do is lying on our tummy, we're going to work into the back. Sorry, second last thing. Let me not forget strengthening. Bring in your chest. Is on the step. Hands are behind you. Squeeze one. If it's easy, take your hands in front. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, four, six. Eight, one more set, one, three, four, six, eight, and release it down. Just hold it here. Coming into cat and cow this round and out, round and out. Last thing we're going to do is push-ups. So either you're going to hold your bridge, push-up, or one hand is on the block, one hand on the floor, off your knees, shift forward, elbows behind you. Choosing your options, let's go. One, two, Three, make sure those elbows are facing back and don't dip. Seven, eight, keep your head looking straight. Three, four, six, seven, eight. Changing sides, take it to the other side and Shoulders are over wrist, elbows face back. One, two, three, five. Or you're just holding the bridge on the floor or on the block. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release down, come into your child's foot.
all around, arch coming up into your box shape. And then the last stretch we're going to do is with your feet on the step, your back on the floor, tuck your chin in, rounding into the back. Really a good stretch into those outer thighs. Coming up, taking the arms up to one side, lengthen into the spine, take the other arm behind you, inhale up, exhale to the other side, inhale up, stay here, hinge all the way forward, really. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates with TJ. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next lesson.